54 years of political deadlock in Madagascar, a country that was already impoverished and has become even more so. It's also become increasingly isolated due to the fact that investment has poured out, as have international aid donors. Now, it's hoped that if this vote goes off without a glitch, that this could represent somewhat of a uh, fresh start for the country. Uh, the breakthrough came several months ago when the Southern African Development Community managed to persuade both the former president, Mark Ravelmanen, uh, who was deposed uh, after a military mutiny in 2009 and mass protests here in the capital, not to run. Uh, also not running will be the man who took over from him after that mutiny, Andre Rajalina. But both of those men are still politically relevant because the front runners in this runoff are closely aligned to either one or the other. Neither candidate in the first round managed to garner that 50% majority required for an outright victory. And analysts here seem to believe that the eventual victor in this runoff will be the one who manages to build a coalition with the various other parties running in this election runoff. The results aren't out until January. Between now and then, there's likely to be a lot of political wrangling behind the scenes to try and muster enough support for that coalition. Di Henderson, CCTV, Antananarivo, Madagascar.